These five hacks will take your animations to the next level. Also, stay until the end as I'll recommend another video with more animation hacks that you are going to love. Hi, my name is Diana and I am a Canva Verified Expert. Welcome to our channel where you can learn everything about Canva. On this channel, we have a series with Canva tips and tricks and this is episode 12. Let's start with the animation hack number one. This is the first hack I'm going to show you in this video. As you can see, we are going to insert text into a video, but not just only place text on a video. As you can see in this example, the text is actually behind the pasta that is falling. So that's the effect we are going to replicate with this hack. From the home page, I'm going to quickly create a new document, so mobile video. From here, I'm going to find a pasta video. This is the video I'm going to use for the project. And what I like is that we see the pasta falling. And this is perfect for this kind of project because it is going to have this 3D effect in which the text is actually behind the elements on the video. Now, I'm going to take this video and I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to take one of them and set video as background. The other one, we are going to select the video and then click background remover. This is a Canva Pro feature. So if you don't have a Canva Pro, you can get a Canva Pro free trial for 30 days. The link is in the description. Okay, so we have now our video with a transparent background. We removed the background. So we can see here the pasta dropping on the plate and that's perfect. Now we are going to add our text box. So I'm going to add a text box, change the copy inside and change the font. I have the text box ready and now all we have to do is to increase the size of this video in here so it matches the video in the background. And before we do that, we are going to make sure that this video is above the text box. So we are going to position layer and then bring this video with the transparent background on top of our text box. Okay, now I'm ready to increase the size of this video here. I'm going to position it to center and now let's preview it. As you can see, the pasta is over the text and this gives the illusion of the text being inserted into the video, which I personally really like. Hack number two actually comes from a viral video I saw on Instagram and the animation is quite simple. You're going to open your design. In this case, I have a static image in the background. I do believe this actually adds to the animation as we are going to focus our eyes on the animation happening on the text, not in the background. As you can see, the main text on my design is here and it's actually broken into two different text boxes. I'm going to select these text boxes and duplicate them. So I have here a copy of this text box and now I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to make sure to position these duplicates on top of the original. So let me go to position to show you what's going on in here. We have the original text boxes and then we have the two new ones. We're going to select the two new ones so you can select them from here from layers and then we are going to effects. From here we're going to select hollow and then go back to position. Now I'm going to select one of the original text boxes. I'm going to select the one that says juice and then I'm going to animate. From here you are going to click on wipe and then I'm going to leave this animation on enter. The direction is going to to the right and then let me go back to position so I can select fresh and then go to animate. We're going to select again wipe but this time we're going to change the direction. To be able to change the direction we also need Canva Pro. So now let me select the animation going to the left and this animation hack is ready. I really like this hack because it's quite simple but we get something that looks very modern and playful. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Hack number three is also inspired on a viral Instagram video and we're going to recreate this effect. 
For this project, I'm going to use this photo of Ronnie, which I believe it's going to look great with this effect. Okay, so you're going to take your photo and you're going to duplicate it. We're going to use again the background remover on the photo that we have on top. And then you're going to make sure to position this photo right on top of the one behind. Now, the next step is to add a text box to your design. I'm going to quickly change the content of this text box and also the font and size. I have my text ready and as you can see, I have the same copy two times. There is a reason why and you will see it in a second. I'm going to increase the size of this text box until we have it all in just one line. And then we are going to effects curve and we're going to adjust the curve until we get a circle. Now this is the reason why I have added this text two times. I wanted to have a big circle so if I wanted to have a big circle I need more text. If I had only this copy one time and then if I were to go and create a circle as you can see I have a smaller circle. Of course you can increase the size but I I actually think it looks better if the text stays with this size. Once you have your text ready, you're going to animate, scroll down and select rotate. And now comes the fun part. We are going to create in this 3D effect in which we see the text going behind the person. Let's go to position, layers, and from here you're going to select the photo without the background. You're going to position this one on top of this circle. Now we're going to crop this image, we're going to crop the bottom of Ronnie's body, leaving just the head. And like this we have this pretty cool effect on the photo. And that's it, your animation is ready. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about this hack. I think, personally, this one is my favorite so far. With hack number four, you'll be able to create this rotating effect. This trick is actually pretty simple. So I have here my design. I have a photo in the background. As you can see, the photo in the background has been stretched out and I left a portion of the photo out of the canvas. I made sure that this edge of the photo and this one touches the edge of the canvas. Now, I have here three different frames. I'm going to show you here under elements that if you go to frames, let's go see all, you can type Polaroid, enter, and you will find plenty of frames that you can use for this project. I actually used one of these and using these frames are actually going to help you recreate this animation quite fast. Okay, now I have this design as it is. Now I'm going to duplicate page one. You're going to make sure that you are working on page number two. And the first step is to select the image in the background, move it a little bit to the left. And now we are going to work with the images inside the frames. So I'm going to right click detach image. Let me position this image somewhere here so we know the order. Now go into this image, detach image and do the same to this one. Okay so what we have to do is to make sure that this image goes here and then these two other photos are going to move to the left. So I'm going to insert this photo on the left on the frame that is on the right. This one is going to the lateral and this one is going to the middle. Now I'm going to do exactly the same. So duplicate page. I'm going to detach the images from the frames. And I'm going to do exactly the same. Moving this photo to the right frame, this one to the left frame and this one to the middle. Okay, we have positioned the images on the right frames and let's move the image in the background. Now, in this case, because we are showcasing three different products or three different images, we can finish here because we have highlighted each of the products on each page. But if you have more products or if you want to see this rotating effect for longer, you can do exactly the same steps. So I'm just going to add one more page and remember to move the image in the back 
and change the position of the images in the frames. And now let's make magic. We are going to hover in between any of the pages, click on add transition and then select match and move. We're going to apply between all pages and now let me show you how this animation looks like. As you can see, we have a little pause for each of the highlights, but if you want this animation to be more dynamic, you are going to this transitions window and then you are going to increase the duration of the animation and then make sure to click apply between all pages. And this will be the dynamic version of the animation. Let me know in the comments which of the two versions you prefer. On hack number five, I'm going to show you how to recreate this effect of rolling end credits. I already have here a list of names that I want to use on these rolling end credits and all you have to do is to select these text boxes. In this case, I have two different text boxes, one that says credits and the other one containing all of the names. So I'm going to select both of these text boxes and bring them all the way down. Now, by having them still selected, you're going to go to animate and from here, select Select create an animation. Now you're going to make sure to hold shift and then start dragging these text boxes upwards. And I know that the animation at the moment looks a little bit wonky, but don't worry. You will see now a window appearing on the left and from here you see that you can choose from movement styles. You're going to open this menu and you can see if maybe smooth works better on your animation. In my case, I believe the one that works better is steady. And then you can play around with the speed, but I do suggest that for the end credits you go slow. So basically move the slider to the left or all the way to the left. You're going to make sure that you can see all of the names on your end credits and then hit done. This is actually a pretty pretty simple animation and it was also completely free. Here's the video I promised with 10 animation hacks and here's our affiliate link to get Canva Pro for free during 30 days. I think that's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!